I think uh, challenges and opportunities always come together. It sometimes it depends on how you see it. So for challenges, actually for this industry, the um, environmental awareness of the citizens is always kind of the top um, challenges if we want to move things forward. Because we are talking about our product service, if no one has the awareness, that means no one thinks it is necessary. And that means no business, right? So it, it will not be sustainable. So the awareness part is very important. And it relies on, of course, proper education that also um, our product actually can also serve as kind of an agent to educate people as well. And we can see that it is improving quite significantly in these few years. So um, we also serve as kind of an opportunity as well. While it is improving and we can take this timing to uh, put more and more resources in this area and people will become more and more accepting to our products. The proposal that is most memorable is, uh, of course, the first one that we uh, submitted for the uh, entrepreneur competition. Um, um, that is a 3,000, kind of a 3,000 word proposal. It's not that long, but it's really about the content because we were not that familiar with the field at that moment. So um, by that time, we need to do a lot of research to come up with those 3,000 words. So uh, the challenges will be one, you need to be familiar where you got the content because it is unlike the academic homework. It is different because now you are pitching for money, pitching for resources. So you need to ensure the entire things work. It's not about pitching the grading A, B, C, D, but you, you need to, it to make it work. They need to put it in very precise terms, not just very high level. Okay, like I want to um, make a robot and then to um, enhance the quality of life of whatever population. And then they need to go really down, down, down from high level to the lower, lowest level, lower, lowest level. And to that level, they will uh, understand if that solution really works. Because sometimes we, we kind of stop here and actually the solution doesn't work. And then if they can go down to the lowest level, they will realize actually the proposal actually have a lot of gaps and it doesn't work. So I think they, they must go through this process to make sure um, it is feasible. And the second part is really about the organization. Yeah, it is very basic, but um, it is not surprised to see some proposal. It's quite messy in terms of the organization. And, um, and I think this is the rule or the, um, something that they need to gather throughout the entire proposal. It, it must be very organized. You need to see the, uh, read the proposal, it's like third party. Um, don't be shy to give that proposal to someone that, of course, you can trust to have a f fresh eyes to give you some comments. So I think that's very key. After the first proposal, I think they can start mastering to see how to package the same ideas um, through different ways, maybe different presentation uh, angles or different um, perspective. Maybe some bankers, they like ideas being presented in one way. Uh, some in uh, social innovators, they may like uh, presenting ideas from another perspective. So they uh, graduate, they need to master more, more skills in terms of presentation. So these are our very first product. Uh, it is Coffee Grounds Upcycling Soap. And it is under our own brand called Coffee Next, which means what's next after you have drunk a cup of coffee. And this um, coffee glass soap, actually you can use it for a shower, for cleansing, and it comes with a uh, scrubbing effect. And the scrubbing effect is something that uh, comes very naturally because the coffee grounds is something natural and it is uh, different from plastic bees, which when it goes to the ocean, it will hurt the marine life. So this is a very good uh, natural product that everyone can try. And this all can also be customized to different shape. So uh, we also serve different organizations as corporate gift as well. So these are the products that we kind of love most after our Coffee Next products. So this is called a one step series, which means one step for a change. So actually everyone can use this one step products to bring big change with just one little step. This is a reusable umbrella bag, which you can bring, uh, bring with you in rainy days. So it has a fiber to absorb water, then you can get rid of those disposable plastic umbrella bag. And the, another one is the reusable straw. You can bring it with you when you drink ice drink and you can use the single steel one or the glass one. 
So all these products actually we are advocating the zero plastic uh, living style because um, the plastic pollution has been quite serious these years and we want to use this series to advocate that uh, actually plastic sometimes you can really get rid of them and with all these products we hope that all of us can go just one step for a big change.